So in this video, I'm going to describe my first impressions of the RX-6 standard bundle. I'm going to show you two different scenarios where I wanted to use some sort of repair plugins and where this uh, plugin suite actually worked really well. So here I have a sample from um, a record that I recorded into the DAW and it sounds good but there's you know the the record pops and clicks and there's actually some shrilly harshness in there uh, that I didn't like as well so here's the audio <laughs> In the guitar, there's a lot of shrilliness, almost like it's peaking or something. Um, but you can obviously hear the, the record clicking in the background too. So first I wanted to get rid of the record clicking and crackling, and I used the RX uh, decrackle tool. And this is really easy to use. Um, you can use a preset, but I, I think I started with a preset vinyl crackle slow and then tweaked these knobs until it sounded good. Uh, I'll show you what I did. So with it engaged, So you no longer get those crackles and I think this is actually taking care of some of that shrilly harshness in the guitars as well. But what you can do is you can uh, monitor just what's being removed from the audio source, which is cool. So here you can have a listen. And then you can adjust. So if I went too strong and did weird things. You could see it's starting to remove more than just um, the crackles. And it might be a little too too much removal, so I kind of leave it at a happy medium. So that took care of the crackles, but now there's um, what's prominent and what comes, which sticks out is the hiss. In the pause of the guitar, you can kind of start to hear like a hiss, and it's it's not that obvious if this was um, put into a, a song or something, but I want to remove that. So I used the voice denoise, and you can choose these uh, band points on where you want to remove the noise, and you can set the threshold and then the reduction amount. So on this I know the hiss is only in the high end and I kinda just made this EQ curve to where it sounded best and most clear and then set the threshold uh, to a very um, extreme level or sorry I, I set the reduction level to an extreme amount so that I can get the right threshold and the right EQ settings and then I dropped down the reduction to a point where it removed uh, plenty of the hiss but not too much of the hiss that it's removing the top end of all the good parts of the audio. So I'll play before and then after. So this here, that I'm really happy with this result. It kind of, um, it almost like warmed up the audio as well, like in a pleasant and musical way, not just removing the hiss in like a surgical way. Uh, I think that's an unintended con unintended consequence of the design of the plugin. Like I think it's because of the EQ curve and the specific settings that I have that caused that like musical warming of the audio but either way um 
just two plugins and it sounds awesome. I think I'll do an AB before both and then after engaging both. <laughs> So for the second demonstration, I want to use this bass guitar section of the song to demonstrate. Now, the bass was recorded, I think, in DI, and it was um, it was humming during the recording. It's not really all that bad, but it was worse when you play a note and let it ring out. And unfortunately, at the end of the piece here of the song, you can actually hear the hum creep in and it doesn't sound that good. Here's probably the worst part. Now at the end of the song I'm going to be fading all of the instruments anyways and when I put a fade out on the bass here it kind of gets rid of most of the problem. because everything is being turned down. But what I want to do is just fix the hum um, and then I can fade out the instrument however uh, I want. Now, uh, in this instance, I'm using the uh, Spectral Denoise plugin and this has a learn function. So you can actually go into a piece of audio and learn, take a snapshot of the noise and then it uses that snapshot of the noise and removes that same sort of spectral noise from the audio source itself. Now, I think at the beginning of here, there's a good section. I think right about here, there might be some hum. No. Uh, I think here, there's a note here that hums out. So there, that's a perfect spot to do a little snapshot. So if we activate this and hit learn, and actually I'm gonna redo that because there's a little bit of audio here that doesn't need to be part of the snapshot. So there, that's the snapshot. And now what we can do is output the noise that it's going to remove and we can undo this, leave the fade in the way that it was. Now let's monitor just what is removing out of here. Not sure if you can hear that. I'm going to turn this way up. So that's what's being removed, and this is perfect. Um, as long as you have the snapshot of an area of noise that's in the recording elsewhere in the same recording, uh, I would suggest using this spectral denoise because this learn function is perfect. Now when I play the bass, let's go to here. see it rings out nice and full and with hardly any noticeable hum now and then I can do whatever fade I want and I'm not using the fade to remove the hum I'm just using the fade to fade out the bass like I would want so yeah that's uh, that's two different ways that I've used uh, the RX 6 standard plugin set already and I I really like uh, the different tools I've used so far. I haven't been able to experiment with any detailed things like going into um, using the Connect, going into the actual RX6 standalone, and uh, I know you can like draw in the the frequency areas and do a whole bunch more of 
spectral denoising and all that kind of stuff and repair and I still haven't used the declipping tool which I've seen demonstrations and they're actually really cool uh, and it, it's very powerful if if you're recording and you have some digital clipping it does a really good job at uh, it, I think it essentially estimates where the waveform would have been and then it draws in its own waveform and um, gives it all that dynamic range that it lost by being clipped but yeah either way hopefully you like this maybe this will uh, determine or help you determine whether or not the RX6 plugin bundle is worth it I think it is I've only used this <laughs> like I said like two times and it's fixed my issues and it's done it very efficiently and very well so thanks for watching and take care bye bye